Welcome to Game of Growth, your weekly podcast you don't want to miss. You're listening to the 10th episode and I'm your host Tina Verma from Truepush. Today, I'm joined by Ravi Kant, who is the sales and marketing manager at Bar and Bench, a leading website platform focused on India's legal fraternity. So welcome to the show Ravi and how is it going? How are you spending your time during the lockdown? So it is going well Tina my time during this pandemic has been more packed with work from home how is it going for you oh it's going great and podcast is helping me a lot to spend great. my time <laughs> yeah great to hear. so okay. um, so ravi how is your journey so far with bar and bench and you know what are your key learnings uh, from working with this uh, platform which is one of its kind in the legal journalism platform i would say Uh, yes my journey with barn bench has been uh, very much insightful over the course of my career i have grown to understand how a company works and, and to work with its key customers and i have enhanced my understanding on aspects of customer acquisition and growth in the digital and mobile presence and i have always been uh, keen to learn on more about working with the right advertising partners mm-hmm. and uh, we we've uh, we've also identified uh, advertisers and we've been working with and it's been almost 5 years myself being with barn bench now and it is going really great now that's great that we, that's great for me so uh, the question is how barn bench is serving its niche audience you know who shows interest in the legal news and its related uh, information he's coming to barn bench as we report directly from the supreme court and the major high courts in the country and we focus on rolling out verified and quality content while also factoring in a large part our targeted audiences comes from the legal fraternity it could be the it, it is not that only a advocate who reads bar and bench news and it is the one basically who consumes the legal news across the country and the globe right it could be anyone it could be a student it could be a law student it could be a professional it could be a lawyer anyone it could be right anyone it could be it could be anyone like a sample judgment that ayodhya judgment came and when everyone went out and read the judgment like that it could be anything that uh, anyone who consumes the indian legal news can uh, i mean our our readers right right so uh, what are the major marketing initiatives you know uh, or steps that you have taken to to stay ahead uh, of your competitors along with this uh, the tools that you are using for the growth of your company and for engaging your customers on different platforms so yes a major part of our efforts are devoted to identifying and solving the pain points of our readers like how you reach Uh, your right targeted audience it could be a social media platforms it can be anything as of now uh, i can mention it as a facebook and instagram and mm-hmm. also a twitter so each platforms has a different type of audiences and it gives you a different type of uh, readers right and uh, in our marketing efforts as well as we constantly strive into an improved barn bench experience by focusing on understanding our audience better uh, practically speaking this has takes time to implement and however by setting our goals high we have motivated to work harder and a key area as far as marketing is concerned is uh, the quick uh, as for as uh, you are able to deliver the content in a quick and active promotion and the distribution it's not that you just write a content and publish it on a website you will have to distribute it uh, through the social media platforms in real time that's when a user experience the content and the, especially an enriching content on your platform that helps them to gain a knowledge and and th- th- that's when you retain your user or a reader basically right and and and, and what about the tools do you use any specific tools for your websites and applications to engage your customers applications as in yes barn bench has the barn bench app as well and we have the good number of downloads and the active readers though Uh, and uh, this is better for ensuring engagement with the website along with app right i mean don't have to dependent on any of the social media platforms of course end of the day social media platforms does matter uh, given that barn bench deals with on ground and real time news as well so you will definitely gain the audiences so since we are act very much active on the social media and uh with a very good decent number of followers and the real time active users 
right right and and along with that the efforts that you input making your website of more user friendly could be a website and the app and over time has also added to the growth of barn bench absolutely so ravi what uh, what do you focus on when it comes to website optimization which is a crucial part of uh, of your user experiences so can you t- tell us some best practices uh, for website optimization which uh, actually delivered strong businesses results yes uh, coming to web th- website optimization is definitely one of the cruelest part of the website presence the key however lies in enriching the content available on the website if a user does not feel that content is enriching or it doesn't uh, render his uh, the right uh, whatever it's like expectations, like expectations you know mm-hmm. that then a user would definitely never come back to you or would lead him to uh, that that leads you in increasing the bounce rate of your website right so that's right. when your content what you put on your website it does matter as far as your content is good and the, the, and then the technology follows i would even say the enriching the content of your website matters more uh, technology may supplement in optimizing the website a user who experience the enriching content on the website once will become a regular reader of your website and this is a part of aspects will also add into the optimizing the website uh, could be your best social uh, i mean seo practices that you uh, work on your daily basis and should be active in real time though and reducing your website bounce rate uh, so that you you ensure that the user who comes to your website for reading a news you you will have to figure out the way how you retain this user and ensures that he at least reads a part of the news and he understands why is this for and right. second thing is prioritizing your customer service how you provide a services if assume that if if a reader is in need of a doubt about the news that you have published or anything that he is in need of or something and there should be a way that he could communicate to the website as we being in barn bench there should be a mode of contact for the customers or a readers should be able to communicate and see that or it could be anything it helps in retaining your customers and keeping your website up to date in real time could be a content and could be a followers of your website anything that is related to a website it has to be up to date and and also uh, helping your website in improving your website credibility and uh, analyzing your website traffic how is it going uh, and you ensure that you even if it if you don't see a growth right like you will have to retain uh, your website readers and ensure that they come to us right. that's about it yeah right absolutely so uh, uh, since you talked about customer engagement on your website through content content mm-hmm. is very important and i would have to agree with you so uh, you know being a media brand which serves the legal domain what challenges uh, did you face you know to generate new content unlike any other media brand which covers all the verticals for example entertainment film industry and all the other verticals of of the nation so what what uh, hurdles did you face to generate new content how do you do that uh be, being we being in legal domain we have a unique audiences across the country and the globe it is important to understand what your readers want and that has to be a priority right and right. further we also focus on making our content easy and crisp to read and simplifying the message is more important creating unnecessary content adding more uh, content to the news a clear communication of our content while maintaining our identity as a key player is delivering reliable news in something we work on every day i mean as in our editorial team since i take care of uh, marketing and advertising at barn bench right right do you also have any uh, any online reporters or something like that you know people who are contributing to your news and helping you generate user generated content i would say of course we do have a column section wherein uh, uh, ex- experts in the indian legal sector or community i mean the legal fraternity do write a content for us and we do have it published of course it will be reviewed by bar and bench and will have it published right right so uh, ravi any any growth kpis that do you focus on you know before uh, 
strategizing any 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 plans or marketing uh, marketing strategies over and all uh, marketing strategy as a large part of ensuring that our kpi continues to grow is through using the social media platforms is the best possible way for now it wasn't probably a decade uh, back mm -hmm. the way it was functioning a decade back it's the digital marketing uh, it has it 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 picked up by then but uh, the way it is now functioning and it was is is it has a tremendous growth and a regular evaluation of our kpi is taken uh, during which the following aspects are factored in how far we have grown and adding to the points is uh, could be a customer acquisition and a landing page conversion rate it's not that you promote a content and you also have to monitor key how many clicks are happening how many are reading your content by reaching the right audiences and also monitoring uh, of your month on month growth uh, these are uh, key scenarios that we, uh, we we keep an eye on a uh, regular basis right right and also i would agree with you without social media it's very difficult for any business to to thrive and to gain attention because a decade ago, ago or more than that people weren't using it much they weren't familiar with that but now every single human is now using some sort of other social media channels so it becomes very important for every business to connect to their audiences through these channels and that's how they can garner more and more traffic uh, to their website absolutely and it was it was very uh, limited uh, mode of communications that you have had in the past and now it is it happens in fraction of seconds you know you can reach people if you publish the news you don't have to wait for specific time to reach out you can reach in real time and you can uh, you can you can acquire uh, you you can get your customers customers reading your news right right so i'm curious to know your thoughts on um, indian legal journalism uh, ravi what do you feel that where does it stand how far are we from from the other developed countries any thoughts on on this oh uh, i am a non law grad by the way i'm not into an uh, law sector but i take care of uh, marketing and advertising at barn bench so i can add a point but uh, may not be more uh, in detail about it and sure. indian legal journalism while relatively new and has immense potential you know the, as i have been a part of barn bench for uh, for all this my journey that i have seen an immense potential and there is a, a growing acknowledgement that we need reliable and verified reports on laws and courts given how the very basics basics basis of uh, civil existence is tied to these legal systems you know and uh, adding to the indian legal journal journalism often goes beyond a simple reportage and breaking down the nuances of law right 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 and whether it, it it be for the simpler understanding of a person outside the legal community like the person me or a truly appreciate the finer implications implications of the legal development as uh, as laws and with the courts begin to pervade more areas of life indian legal journal journalism becomes uh, crucial and improving how people understand their civil existence uh, in their living style or the life absolutely i would agree with you uh, ravi so um, ravi how do you think that the whole ball game of digital marketing would change in the near future are there any new channels or mediums that are coming up with or or if you are trying up with any new channels uh coming to new channel the artificial intelligence ai is the next huge thing and it would definitely change the way digital marketing functions in the near future uh, after this covid-19 pandemic uh, digital advertising has boomed and is likely to continue thriving uh, given how people today are hooked on to social media as they have got enough time these days right and uh, new channels uh, i mean so far it is uh, the current media platforms are like could be a social media platforms like facebook instagram and twitter and etc these are the current channels and yeah that's about it right right so so how do you monetize your platform uh, ravi so we uh, how do we monetize our platforms as in we we 
we being an active actually your active presence on your social media and ensure that you uh, you compare your uh, insights of your social media platforms uh, plus or minus how the acquisitions are happening how how is it going is very important that's when you it helps you to analyze and do where are you lacking and improvise yourself in that particular aspect and uh, it that would definitely help you in gaining uh, more audiences and it 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 help it also helps you in getting a better traffic to your website right right um lastly anything you would like to share with all the growth and marketing enthusiasts out there uh, what to be fo focused on and what are the marketing market opportunities right now for them marketing enthusiasts uh, in the industry should definitely focus on having an updates on the technology in real time however the success of content marketing strategy will depend completely on many factors which are sometimes outside of your control you cannot control anything as for as your uh, content of, of yours is good you will definitely don't have to worry about the promotions that you do as far as you are active on your social media platform will definitely help you out in the growth as far as marketing a website goes focus on uh, creating a strong content and effective seo optimization and think creatively i understand that you deliver a content but the way you deliver the content matters the most adding to the seo benefits to it and it goes without saying that social media channels should definitely be utilized to the maximum if you haven't already set up your facebook instagram and twitter pages these are the three platforms you should focus on and these platforms should have a relevant information about your services and the products that you deliver uh, or, or about the product that you have right right um uh, adding a small point to that this is very uh, useful for startups and people who are initiating at the at the stage of initiating the ideas it's very important for them to make uh, their products presence on different social media channels because these are the channels that are having the most of the eyeballs and people are actually searching for the relevant content so yes. uh, make it as the first priority in fact and uh, so uh, ravi this was such a useful uh, podcast for all our audiences and uh, thank you so much uh, for this ladies and gentlemen this is ravi khan sales and marketing manager at bar and bench thank you so much china for having me on this podcast it was pleasure ravi